Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here for some PB&J holiday inspiration. And today I'm going to be doing some watercoloring with Penny Black's beautiful slapstick cling stamp called Robin's Christmas. And here's a look at the card I will be making today. And you can see here, I did change my bird to a bluebird. <laughs> so it may be called Robin's Christmas, but I guess I'm being a little bit of a rebel with my coloring. Here's a list of all the supplies here before I begin, and I will put that back up on screen at the very end of the video. So if you wanna see something in more detail, you can just hit pause at that time and check it out. To begin, I'm stamping this onto Canson 140 pound cold press watercolor paper, and I'm stamping with Acorn Archival ink. And I'm stamping this in my Misty Stamp Positioning Tool just so I'm able to get multiple impressions and get a really nice, crisp image that gets all of the detail of the stamp even on that textured watercolor paper. Now this stamp is uh, shaped, it gives you a lot of different options for what size card that you want to make. I end up trimming this into a square panel and then mounting it onto a five and a half by five and a half inch square card in the end. So the top portion of this where there's nothing will end up getting trimmed off. I am painting this using my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Blendable Dye Ink Re-Inker. So I've squeezed those onto a palette and I'm just mixing them with a little bit of water and blending them together to do my shading and painting onto this image. And I have done a couple other videos with these, using these re-inkers as watercolors. So I will be sure to link those for you down in the YouTube description box below if you wanna check those out or get a little bit more sort of commentary or narrative on how I am painting this in. So I'm just going to sort of let you relax and watch me do this painting and turn on some Christmas tunes and I will be back with you at the end as I put some finishing touches onto this painting.
I just wanted to mention here, I am using a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen, the extra small tip, just to color in the eye and on the beak. They fade out a little bit when I was putting the paint on, and I also just wanted them to be darker than the acorn brown that I had stamped them in, and just give a little bit more life to the image. I dried that to be sure it was totally dry with the heat gun, and I'm using a white gel pen just to add that little bit of reflection or sparkle to the eye of the bird, just to give him even more life. And I will also catch his uh, feet down here with that same pen. It is a waterproof pen, so when I go back to paint anywhere around that or in the sky, anywhere that it would be touching that ink, it will not bleed or blend at all. And I will continue now with my painting.
once I had all of my painting done and everything was completely dry, I'm going in now with a white gel pen and I'm just coloring in onto the snowflakes that are built into the stamp. So you don't need to worry about those when you're painting this in, worry about going around them. By any means, you can go back in with a white gel pen or even a really small paintbrush and some white acrylic paint and just add it right on top. But I do love that it's sort of built into the stamp. It just makes it really easy to give this look of falling snow to the design. And I just put my stamp right next to where I'm working and I find that makes it easier to sort of find those spots where I need to add that snow, especially once I've painted over if it's in a darker color. So that is all that was needed to finish off that card. I went ahead and trimmed it, like I said, to a square panel and mounted it to a five and a half by five and a half inch note card. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with Penny Black on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, as well as our website and blog. And I will link to all of those for you down in the YouTube description box below. And as promised, here is the list of all the supplies used in creating this card.